Okay, this is about gas furnace flame safety controls. Now these are just our, or you can call them ignition controls. These are various different uh, controls that uh, <clears throat> have been used on gas furnaces. Most gas furnaces anymore incorporate the uh, ignition control into the integrated furnace control because most of them use integrated furnace controls. However, there's a lot of these still out there and they, they should be explained a bit. Uh, this one here is the old uh, Honeywell S86. Uh, this is a spark igniter. It, it sparks a light to light the pilot. Uh, once the pilot lights, it proves flame by flame rectification on the pilot light. And once that uh, pilot light is proved, uh, it goes ahead and ignites the main burner. This one, pretty much the same thing. It's still an S86. Uh, and does the same thing. It's just a newer uh, version of it. But here again, it is a spark igniter and lights a pilot and uh, senses flame and then it starts main burner. This comes in several different ways. This comes with a uh, hot surface igniter uh, in addition or it also comes with direct spark where the spark actually lights the main burner. Not too many of those around. There are some. Uh, but uh, this comes in several different ways. Uh, a couple of Johnson controls. Uh, this is the old G60. Uh, and this one here uh, does the same thing. It has a, a spot for the uh, igniter and it wires up right through here. Uh, essentially does the same thing as these other controls, it's just a different brand. This is a little newer model of the uh, uh, Johnson Control and it is essentially the same. There is it lights a pilot and then it uh, uh, senses flame and goes to main burner. All of these have the same more or less uh, time periods. They will spark to light the pilot. That means they turn on pilot gas so that the pilot has gas running through it. There's a spark right there. It lights that burner. It's got about 90 seconds. I think all these things are 90 seconds. Uh, to light that pilot, if it lights in the 90 seconds, then it senses flame and starts a main burner. If it doesn't, uh, this one here, uh, this is a continuous retry on this S86, and that means it will uh, give a 90 second trial for ignition, then it shuts down and retries again. Uh, this one here, 85 second ignition, 5 minutes, it tries again. There's 5 minutes off and it tries again. This has also got a 15 second pre-purge. Okay, problems with these uh, spark igniters. Uh, if you have a spark, you can see the spark at the pilot and it does not light, you have a gas supply problem. Now, if you want to make sure your meter's on, all gas cocks are on, and so on like this, possibly a plug pilot, uh, and you may have to start looking for things like that if you don't have any flame at all. Uh, if you have flame and it does not light main burner, so your pilot light comes on, spark comes on, pilot light comes on, uh, but your main burner never does come on, uh, then you're going to have to start looking for uh, problems with uh, flame sensing. Now there is a little flame rod there. Sometimes it's the same thing as a spark gap. There's a little probe up there with a the spark gap on it. That may be the flame sensor. And it needs to be cleaned. Uh, sandpaper, steel, wool, something like that. Uh, careful with that thing. Uh, don't be too rough on it. So you can clean them that way. If you get uh, main gas in, you're done. If you still don't get main gas, you probably got a problem with uh, either the control here or uh, gas valve. You're going to have to use a meter to check that stuff. We'll get into meter use in these things later. Uh, so check for main gas. 
or check for gas. If you don't get anything at all, if you get a pilot and nothing else, it's probably flame sense that's the problem. And it could very well be these have failed or you have a dirty flame rod. Anyway, that is the uh, spark igniters. Came in about the early 80s, uh, were used through the 80s. Uh, I can't say they've disappeared because they're still there. Uh, there's still some equipment comes out with them as new equipment, uh, still viable, but uh, oftentimes replaced by, by the integrated furnace control that controls the entire furnace and not just the burner. And that's it on uh, spark igniters.